Hi everyone, so last time I was showing you how to get a random generator that gives out two results. So we're going to adjust this so we can get three results out of it. So first thing I'm going to do is come over here to our demonstration area and we will get a non-stackable item and a stackable item and we'll also get a let's see what we got we we'll also get a stackable item that only stacks to 16 so as we covered before a uh, stackable item gives out a tiny tiny signal which is actually rounded up to one and a stackable item gives out a slightly bigger signal which um, comes out as three in a hopper because it takes up a fifth of the hopper and a fifth of a full signal of 15 is 3. So if we put in an ender pearl, so the stackable items I was naturally using before are um, stackable items that stack up to 64, which means that they are a 64th of this slot. However, if you're using a stackable item that stacks up to 16, then it means it's actually a 16th of the slot. So it's slightly bigger than this item. It's giving out a slightly bigger signal. However, it's still giving out a signal that's far less than 1, so it's still only giving out a signal of 1. So how, what we can do is we can take 19 dirt, again shout out to, uh, shout out to Kako Junk, who's the first person I saw do this. And if we have 19 dirt in the hopper as well, then that boosts the 16th just enough to make a signal of two. However, if we swap it for the wool, the wool is still so small, 164th, that it gives out a signal of one. So that a dirt and then if and if we have a non-stackable item, then it changes the signal to four, which is a bit more than three, but is still a different signal. So we now the three different items give three different signals being one, two, and four. However, with also with the dirt in the hopper all the time, it means there's a constant current of one coming from that piece of dirt, but we can deal with that in a moment, and I'll show you how. The problem is, if you just put the dirt in the hopper, it will start leaking out into the dropper, as you can see. So we'll let that run through. So to stop that happening, the dropper needs to be full. So we need to fill it up with the items we're going to use. However, if we put this wall in, for example here, it's going to go pushed up into the hopper, and when it comes down again, it's just going to stack, and then there's going to be an empty space, and then the dirt's going to leak in again. So what we need to do is have a different example of each stackable item, and the non-stackable items, it doesn't matter because... By their nature, they're not going. They're non-stackable. They're not going to stack, so they're okay. But we need uh, we need other non-stackable. I mean, stackable sixteen, stackable to sixteen items, and stackable to sixty-four items. But they all need to be different so they don't stack together when they drop back in. But they all function the same. Now those are in there. We can put the dirt in the hopper, and it will sit in there. Now the other thing, as I pointed out, is having dirt in the hopper gives out a signal of 1 all the time. So we can fix that if we get a block and we'll put it nearby, put it here, and a torch and put a signal into the side there. What's happening here is the small less than 1 signal that's coming out of the item hopper there well, actually, all of the signals coming out of the item hopper are all going to be fractions of 15. And, however, the current coming in the side is a really strong current coming directly from the torch. So it's probably 15 or 14, I'm not sure exactly. So what the comparator's doing here is it's comparing the signal coming in the back of it to the signal coming in the side. So because... And if the signal coming in the side is stronger, it doesn't give out a signal. If the signal coming in the back is stronger, then it does give it out. 
so at the moment it's not going to give out the signal um, because the signal coming in the side is stronger however it's also going to be stronger when we turn the switch on and nothing's going to happen despite the fact that the droppers put an item into the hopper so what we need to do is have this torch turn off when we turn it on so all we need to do is just attach it to the switch as well so when we turn it on that current coming in the side will turn off and when it's off the current in the side will turn on so that the dirt doesn't leak out a signal when we're not using it okay I hope that's clear so we're now gonna have we now have three signals coming out of one three one two and four so I'm just going to lengthen the lines a bit to represent that and what am I looking for torch redstone lamp okay not torch I mean lamp so we've, we now want to have three outputs so we're going to do just get the bits we're going to repeat what we did here but for a this was to utilize a signal of one and anything stronger it turns off so this side we're going to utilize a signal of two and anything stronger than two is going to turn off so we're just repeating what we did over here we're just mirroring it on this side so I explained that in the first video and then anything stronger the signal of 4 will light the middle one so there you go so that will be random outputs three random outputs <laughs> and uh, again you're not going to get a completely even distribution straight away but it should be working it's just because it's truly random you're going to get occasional runs of the same result again and again but over time it will be completely random and there you go and of course you can also alter the actual probability by altering the numbers of each type of item so we could have four shovels and two wool or maybe one shovel and three wool and five uh, 16 uh, stackable to 16 items although I think there's only five in five in existence I think the other ones are buckets and um, oh, I can't think what the other one is but I'm sure you guys will be able to work it out I'm sure you guys will know anyway that's how you can get three different outputs from a random hopper dropper generator. I will see you later.